how to make a social media website with Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a social media website within your favorite platform for creating websites which is Wix. It is very easy and very simple. All we need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. How we are going to create the social media website, it is very easy. So we are going to create a basic website into our Wix platform. Then we are going to add some uh, social media features or some social media benefits like adding the posts or creating some feeds. So we are going to mix the creation of the feeds and also the posts into one place. And that will be considered a social media website. So we are going simply to head over Wix.com, sign in for an account, and then here we have the dashboard if you have already an account. If you don't have an account, you're going simply to get this, or you don't have a website yet, you're going to get this uh, page. So for those who has an account already, you are going to click on create new site, and then we are going to have the option to choose between Wix editor, or the Wix Studio. So we are going to use the standard Wix editor. Now we can get the help of the AI by messaging where they're the platform. And uh, also we are going to get the help of it by personalized dashboard and etc. So I'm going to use it without the chat. But there we are going to set up the type of the website. I'm going to put here social media. So we are going to see here blog, ebook, instructions, and etc. I'm going to here set it as a social media blog. And then we are going to click on continue. So once you are here, it will prepare for you the dashboard of your website. Uh, until here, we have did nothing. Everything is planned and everything is good. So now we are going to put a name for our site. So we are going to put here Jack. Jack social socials, for example, then we are going to click on continue. If you are going to sell products, you're going to enable all of the, uh, multi the elements that you are going to see here. I'm going to promote myself, for example, uh, display creative works, uh, for offering services. I don't know, but for building a community and sharing knowledge and collecting leads, this is a very important. So you are going to click on continue. And now, as you can see, we have uh, the uh, recommendation for our uh, purpose, which is a very good as you can see. So we are going to get a blog which is built in and we can add a Instagram feed to display the pics and the videos from Instagram. So right there you can go ahead and add some more apps by clicking on setting any one of these i'm going to click on continue and welcome to the dashboard so right there we're going to release the dashboard and all we need to do right there is to click on the design site at the top and then you're going to see the uh, templates or the items so either you can generate a design with the ai or you can go ahead and customize a template. So let's check for the uh, pick up a template right there and see the uh, templates that we have. So we have some very, uh, very good, as you can see here, templates that has been implemented uh, or they are stock. So we can choose one of these templates and also use it for our flavor. So right there, we are going to see the uh, most so here as you can see suitable one for us community blog forum this is looking very good so we are going to click on edit and now we are going to wait for the wix website to be um, right here fully load up and then we are going to proceed for the next step once you have uh, loaded your website you're going to see here a presentation about the multiple elements and also the items and tools that has uh, your website. So you are going to read right there at the left side. We have the button to add elements to select the sections, see and consult the pages and menus, the site design and etc. 
So we are going to skip this part and we are going to see here our website. Now we are going to add the blog to it. So we are going to click on add elements. And from here, we're going to search for the blog. You're going to click on blog. And as you can see, it is already installed. So we have here a list of elements. We have post list, which is large. We have post list, which is going to be sidebars. We have recent post, category menu, tag cloud, archive, and RSS button. So, we're going to add a, a post list right there, like this one. I'm going to uh, add it right there, but I rather add it to not to this page. So we're going to delete it, but we are going to add a section. So we are going to click on add section. Then we are going to select here blank section. In this blank section, we are going to guide it here through. So we are going to simply add it to the bottom. So it is not helping us at all. So we are going to just try and add it right there. So here we have it. And go ahead and click between two sections to add a section. So we are going to add the blog list right there or the post list. So as you can see, we don't have any any posts right there. So if you want to add a post, you're going to double click on the post list and it is still empty. You're going simply to manage the posts. You can go ahead and click on manage the post and then you can go ahead and add them uh, one by one. So as you can see, you're going to click on create new post and then you can go ahead and set up a post right away. So I'm going to get here a post like you can see here, write me an article. Or a post not an article so we're going to make something with uh, here chat GPT a post boom now we are going to wait for the post to be right there so I have implemented the word SEO with the search right there because we need that uh, here to be SEO friendly. So we are going to get some more traffic with this one. So for the gaming PC, it is a random niche that I have picked up. I used to work with the uh, computers a lot, build them, sell them, and etc. So this is my specialty, you can say. So here we have a conclusion, we have an introduction, also a title, and etc. We're going to copy and paste the content right there. So we are going to paste it right there. Now we are going to get the title and put it here as a catchy title. Now we are going to delete that. Boom. So here we have it. Now you can also add some images or some pictures right here to the post and you are going to click on add, add some pictures for example. I'm going to wait for here and then we are going to upload some media from the computer. We have some pictures. So we're going to delete that because I don't want this file. I don't know how it was here. So let's go ahead and add maybe this, this picture right there. And then we are going to add it to the page. So we have added that picture and then you can go ahead and make that picture here small fit. This is better. We are going to click on publish and this is the first thing. Boom, here we have the post created. Now we are going to let the space as it is and then you're going to see here the apps or you're going to click on app market and then we're going to type in Instagram feed. So we are going to add a Instagram feed. We're going to add it to the site and you're going to be adding it right there. So this is the, for the second thing that we need, as you can see, is implementing a social media into our account uh, or 
our width. So we are going to add it right there to this specific area. So make sure that it is not covering any of your uh, here, as you can see, posts. Or you can go ahead right there and visit Elf site. And this Elf site is a platform that will help you create some widgets for free. Not for free completely, but the first ones is free for you. So right there, we are going to create a widget for social media feeds. As you can see here, we have the widget, we have blog, Facebook feed, Instagram feed, LinkedIn feed, RSS, and etc. So we're going to choose Instagram feed, maybe Facebook feed also. So we are going to create our widget. And also we are going to do the same one right there. I have already a widget for our Instagram. So we are going to see here, what do we have? What's up? Only I have one for Instagram. This is it. This is the Instagram feed. So we are going to click on install, copy the code. I will be back here into our shop, not the shop. I'm, I'm sorry for the word shop, but we're going to add the code of embed code. Click on add elements. Here we are going to click on embed HTML. Then we are going to uh, simply paste the code. And now we are going to see this one. So I'm going to add a new section and in this HTML, I'm going to add it right here. It is causing a little bit of trouble here, but what am I going to do? So we're going to make the section a little bit bigger to supply all of this content right there and this is a feed so we are going to put it or push it to the borders to make it fill the gaps boom and for the facebook we are going to see here also we have a, a facebook one that we are going to do here you can go ahead and add it to your website. You can go ahead and put this or connect your Facebook account to show up the feed of your Facebook. Now we have here everything right there. So this is uh, considered a social media website. You can go ahead and uh, here put a lot of blogs. And also don't forget to adjust the content from here because we didn't touch it. I have only let you see how we can add a post and also social media feeds. Go ahead and adjust the titles, the photos of your website, the color themes, and etc. And here we have it. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And I hope to see you soon on the next one.